Oh. Well, that was a tough kind of exit out of here. We got snow two days ago. It's muddy. The weather changed. So we're going to head to Florida and get out of Dodge. Florida or bust? Mud. We're not used to seeing that. A little bit of mud. We made it all the way into New Mexico yesterday into Grants, Mexico. We're at a harvest host called the Brewery on 66, I believe. What a fun, eclectic experience. We got to spend a little bit more time with Rebecca and Jared and uh, have a good barbecue meal here last night and just check out this uh, fun little place. Yeah, it was a comfortable stop for an overnight. Pop the slides out. Stay as long as you need in the morning. Like you don't have that pressure to move like you do at Cracker Barrel or Walmart. So that was really nice and relaxing, but we are ready to hit the road. Yes, today is another big travel day. We are headed to Santa Fe boondocking, and we're gonna spend a few days boondocking outside of Santa Fe, as well as maybe a day trip to Albuquerque. And it's gonna be a yeah. fun time. Louie is ready to go. Look how excited he is. You know we're packing. He's ready, he's excited. I think he's gonna do even better in the car today than yesterday, which he did pretty doggone good yesterday. Whoa. Oh, was that a joke? <laughs> Okay, the pen's under the table. I'm gonna pop the slide in, and then I have to do the auto level legs. We're actually, we're not using auto level, we have to use it at manual level while we're still hooked up to the truck. Uh, it's kind of interesting having an auto level system on a trailer because you can't hit that while hooked up to the truck because it might, you know, push it up or down or, or not be able to, to level itself. So here's the auto level legs down while still being hooked up to the truck. And like I said, they only move two at a time, not individually. So it's kind of interesting uh, putting it down on an uneven surface. And so you just have to go into manual mode, which is kind of nice because it tells you your level front to rear and then side to side front, side to side rear. So to bring them back up now, we just hit the negative sign. That's both fronts, both rears. Uh, both rights and both lefts. So that's the auto level while using a manual. Make sure they all went up. Louie! Come on, let's go, let's go. Gotta get him his exercise before we get on the road. <laughs> go for a ride, Louie? Go for a ride, Louie. Good boy. Good boy, Louie. Okay, and we're off. gonna do another harvest host in Albuquerque because we wanted to visit the downtown but uh, we figured just heading to the boondocking spot maybe taking a day tip trip to Albuquerque might be better yeah settle in get comfortable get set up less hopping around we have plenty of hopping around that's going to happen over the weeks to come so anytime you can take a day off and just push the easy button we're gonna do that Louis settles in quick Starting to get used to driving in the truck and being in the crate. 
loves napping in the truck. made it to Albuquerque driving through. We decided to hit up a Costco because it's only four minutes off route. And why not? We actually have a list of things that we need. Yep, it'll be a good time to take Louie out for a little pee break. He's getting a little antsy. He didn't pee at the casino, so we'll uh, be back to Albuquerque hopefully in a couple days and maybe take a day trip here but otherwise after Costco we'll be headed up to the boondocking spot. Coming up to the entrance, see a lot of RVs out here, out kind of out in the juniper bushes. <laughs> so Campanium said after the cattle gate, take a left, but it looks like there's room all over the place. So we're gonna wander around a little bit. So that's the left, not that's the straight. It gets must get more rutted this way, but uh, yeah, lots of open areas. Let's uh, let's take a left and see what happens. Okay. It's an interesting terrain out here. Yeah, lots lots of open areas out here. There's lots of space. It's not hard to find a spot. It's just how picky do you want to be? Mm -hmm. Looks like you use this land for ranching, cattle gates and guards. Don't want to be right next to that. Yeah, Louie's getting better at traveling, that's for sure. I love this yep. Is he excited? He's getting nice and quiet. Oh, hey, Louie. Good boy. Look how big he's getting. 15 weeks tomorrow. Aaron cries. Oh, you're so cute, Louie. <laughs> Should we go outside? Hey, Chris. The ball is popping off every time now. Since I, since I cleaned the junk out of here, the old grease and stuff, it comes off every time. I don't know if we're just getting lucky or what, but you can see that there's still some residue, but it's working much better. Your own poop is picking up other people. Yep, Chris is picking up more waste from others. More feces. This is dog poop this time, not human poop. I'm gonna check for obstructions for the slide. That's something I've heard horror stories is if you don't check your slide, something could just have rolled during transit and it gets stuck or it could rip up your floor or even worse. But looks pretty good. Louie, three bags of poop already. Louie, three Louis, bags. Really snacked on the way here. He was just the okay, auto level down, slides out. Next step for us is to do a quick clean with the vacuum cleaner just because it gets dusty and dirty. And especially with Louie's pen, we don't have space here to clean. so. I'm going to run the vacuum quick over the floor and then we'll set up his pen. Next I transfer his crate that was in the truck 
back into the RV and then I'll attach the pen around it. So he's got a little bit of a front yard, a little bit of a bedroom. And that will be uh, it for Louie's little setup. Finally, an hour or so later, the pack up is done. I went on a nice little walk with Louie to scope the land out there and kind of just check the situation, see how I feel about the neighborhood. And guess what this place reminds me of? Um, hmm, that's a tough one. What? It reminds me of Salida, Mount Chavano. It does? Yep. Interesting. And I'm not sure why. I think just the layout's pretty similar. These little juniper bushes and then the big mountain in the background. Mm -hmm. um, it just reminds me of it. So there's a lot of different people up here. Vans, old RVs, new RVs, recreation. So it looks like it's a, a pretty well used area and a pretty safe vibe. Good. I like it. While you were doing that, I managed to somehow take all of the stuff from Costco and get it put into places. That's a lot of work putting everything away. You know, it's hard to feel like at home too right now with this bag. You can kind of see how how much space that kennel takes up. Louie, stop it. But this, he... Leave it. This is a good example of why, because if we didn't put him in there, he'd be terrorizing everything. Hey. Yeah, we, we obviously let him out and play with him and run him and exercise him, and he's not in there all that much, but we just need a little bit of time um, where we're not watching him so that he's not chewing on the RV wires or anything dangerous. That's right. Louie? Okay, so today's Thursday. We're going to take uh, a day to sit around here tomorrow, Friday, and just get some work done, get caught up, and hang out for the day. And then on Saturday, we're headed to the farmer's market. Which I am super stoked about. We do not go to farmer's markets often enough. And guess what? Santa Fe has like the sixth best farmer's market in the country. So I'm hoping to score a bunch of good stuff there. And just a little electrical update. We're only at 55% and that's because we've been boondocking for a while now. A week at least, I can't even remember. And uh, it was snowing up at the Grand Canyon and we had some rain and some cloudy days. We weren't getting that much solar. And uh, we've been running the fridge on electric quite a bit. So you hear me complain about the, the electric portion of the RV fridge. And, and that's because it's basically 350 watts pretty continuously, maybe 80% of the time. Um, so if we run that from uh, the time we wake up till the time we go to bed, you know, our 1200 watts of solar, that 350 watts is a, a constant draw on it. So uh, we're really getting good solar so far. We're getting close to five kilowatts of power. Um, so that's 5,000 watt hours. And that really does a great job of charging up our batteries. The other day when it was cloudy, we hit 1190 watts for a max uh, panel hit. And that's um, of our 1200 watts of solar. So pretty good output from this system and it's charging the batteries very nicely. And I can't wait until it's summertime to really see how much power we can get out of this. Good morning and happy Saturday. We took the day yesterday to relax a little bit and now we're ready to hit the town of Santa Fe. Is it relaxing or is it catching up on work? Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, we got our ducks in a row. Our first stop today is the Santa Fe Farmer's Market, which I'm super stoked about because it is supposedly one of the top 10 in the entire country. After the Farmer's Market, we're also gonna try to take Louie to his first dog park. Yeah, and some people recommended the app Bring Fido, which allows you to see which restaurants, hotels, and attractions are pet friendly. So that's gonna be a very big addition to our lives now that little Louie is part of it. Yeah, we'll probably use it today to find a patio for lunch. Yeah, I looked at it yesterday a little bit and a lot of stuff popped up, so I'm pretty excited about it. So every time we leave a boondocking location and then we head into town, we usually get a few comments about, you know, are we concerned leaving our trailer or what about theft and those types of questions. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly what we do. I think first and foremost, we use uh, Wi-Fi security cameras. We have two of those, one uh, 
facing in the window to the front door so it can see outside as well as I place one somewhere else. This one just kind of gives a general shot of the entire RV. And so these are Wi-Fi. Uh, they notify of sound and of motion to your cell phone. And then we leave our hotspot, which is sitting right over there, Verizon. Uh, we leave that so that the entire RV is connected to the internet. Now the kind we use are WISE uh, version 3. We've had these uh, for maybe a year now and then we had version 2 before in the van. And for around $30, those things are a great sense of security and just allow you to check in on your home. In years past in the van, we also have some USB motion detectors and the cameras are USB by the way. Uh, the USB motion detectors you can just put anywhere and they basically are this loud siren kind of like Louie down there and they'll just basically go off if there's any motion inside the RV. Hopefully enough to just you know if somebody did break in the siren goes off and they run away. Other things we do is kind of pack a go bag if you will with our valuables, laptops. Um, I'll always have usually the cameras and stuff with us so that if we ever did have a break-in uh, they're basically gonna steal clothes or kitchen utensils or things like that so there's just nothing of value left behind one thing you have to be careful of though if you're going to like a trailhead or something like that where you're gonna leave your vehicle or your truck parked for many many hours you know sometimes those can be high theft areas as well so you got to be careful to choose between do you want your valuables in your RV? Is that a safer area or is the trailhead going to be a safer area for them? And then the next big thing we have is a hitch lock out on the front of the RV here. We use a product called Amp Lock. It's a um, very well, I don't know how expensive, you know, it's 260 bucks. So, but they do make versions that are like 20, 30, 40 bucks. And then higher end ones like these that are 200 or $300. So um, an actual theft of an entire RV would be a pretty rare situation. Of course it could happen, but a larger 10,000 pound RV like this, somebody's not gonna just hitch up to it and take it off, so. But we still use a hitch lock just for that extra sense of security. And honestly, it just makes you feel better. And then it helps to have a guard dog like Mr. Louie here. And of course, we're gonna take him with us. But, Louie, would you protect the RV if somebody was gonna break into it? Look at that puppy face. You'd just melt him to tears, wouldn't you? Louie. RV lock as well. All right, quick pack up. We got Louie in his collapsible uh, crate, which we're using the uh, metal one on long trips, but on short trips, no need to take that big one in and out. That's what a travel crate's for anyways, right? That's right. <laughs> so we're uh, off and uh, everything's locked up, secure. Sun's out, Sun's getting warmer. Shining. It's gonna be a fun day, we're excited. We love getting out and exploring, and we've heard a lot of good things about Santa Fe. Yeah, this should be fun. We've been here for a couple days, and we haven't seen the town yet, so. Here we go. We're just a minute down the road. We don't know where parking is at all. And uh, I thought I read something about like the train depot or train station. Oh. Uh, but we're just gonna cruise around. Looks like here it is on the right. Yeah. And we'll find a quick little parking spot. Oh, it's small. Oh, it's an inside thing. Oh. I don't know if that's a lot or a lot in there. Yeah, that could be. That could be a it looks like they normally do it outside huh we're just gonna park on the street here Hello. since we don't know any secret inside free parking spaces and we're just gonna pay to park <laughs> pay to play yep that's a little big gonna see if i'm on the red curb 
On the front red curb? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm just, I think I'm in on the back. Uh, you gotta go back a couple feet. This big truck it's sticking I'm out. I'm gonna be over the line. We're too big for the parking in Santa Fe? <laughs> okay, so we got Louie. We're all ready to go. Louie can't come in, but we're gonna check it out and see what we see. Louie, let's go. Come on, Louie. The farmer's market was incredible. I dropped a bunch of money in there. I got a lot of good things, which I'll show you when we're back at the truck and we unload it. I kind of hurried in there because Aaron and Louie were outside, so I definitely could have spent a lot more time. There's food, there's coffee, there's things to buy of all different varieties. And then, of course, once I came out and I was worried about these two just waiting for me, I had no need to be worried because there's lots of dogs and friendly people out here and Louie's having a great time. He's getting tons of attention. Everybody's stopping to play. It's like a little dog park out here on its own. And I think we're going to stroll this outside part for a short period before we bring all of the stuff back to the truck. I do have a couple of items that I need to get in our refrigerator in the truck. We found a patio on brinkfido.com. It's called Bumblebee's Baja Grill. It's a cute patio and it sounds like all the food here is good. It yeah. smells really good. I'm having a hard time picking something, but what I love to do at restaurants is find inspiration on their menu for future recipes of my own with like a little Santa Fe charm to them. And Aaron actually got, uh, he's going to get a green chili burger and that was exactly what I was thinking to use those green chilies that I just bought for so I'm gonna look at theirs and get some inspirations for something that I can make at home next time. Louis about to sleep. Sleepy time. Um, that man said that the burrito del norte yeah. is like more classic northern New Mexico food. Oh, okay. So I might do that. He also said the Tito is really good. It has um, basil in it which is unique. Such a horrible life you have, Louie. You got to play with dogs today and go to the farmer's market. Now you're snoozing in the sunshine. With a human hand as a pillow? <laughs> he won't sleep without a pillow. Yeah, he's so far really enjoying everything. He's just learning and meeting and exploring and playing and he gets to go to the dog park today. Yay, next stop, dog park. Oh, there's bacon on there. Yeah, I ordered bacon. Green chili burger. What, what else is on there? Uh, cheese? Yeah, there's cheese. There's sauces on oh, the side. Oh, I want to try that sauce. He said it was kind of like a Thousand Island sauce. Chris, what are you going to do with that burrito? <laughs> I don't even know how to start. So this is smothered. It has tons of stuff on it. I guess I'm going to go in in the middle and get like that beautiful side shot. There's a lot going on in here, which I'm okay with. Mm. Good stuff. Oh, that's really good. You know what's really nice is Louie is not a food-centric dog, so he does not freak out while eating. Yeah, we need to make sure it stays that way, so we're never gonna feed him table scraps. Yeah, if you meet Louie, don't feed him, please. <laughs> don't feed the birds. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Ooh, lunch was delicious. And now on to the fun part of the day, Louie's first dog park. I keep wanting to say RV park. Is that something to do with me RVing for three years? Well, I can't stop saying RV park in my head. It's a dog park. It's gonna feel like an RV park with all the dogs there. Yeah. Okay, Louie. You don't even know what you're in for right now. It's gonna be a treat. 
Right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. You ready? Let's take the bridge. Small dogs only, Lou, that's you. Come inside. Come here, Lou. Come on. Lou, he is just overwhelmed with smells right now. <laughs> Lots of smells. Lou, are you ready to take your bra off? Lou, sit. Yes, good boy. <gasps> okay, what do you do now? What do you do now? <laughs> okay. We're doing a little experiment to see what he does if we just sit here and let him roam around by himself. He hasn't quite figured out his freedom yet. Well, he's definitely just a little puppy, so he can't run and play too much, but at least this is a little bit of freedom for him to enjoy some of it. It was a relief for us too. Like once we took him off the leash, he wasn't like a full, what's the word? He didn't want to try to escape from us or anything. Yeah, he's doing good. He's just exploring and enjoying. And there's no other dogs in here either, so that's kind of a bummer um, that he doesn't have anybody to play with. It's a nice way to ease in, though, at the Maybe same time. somebody will show up. Anybody want to come by? Anybody? We're at the Marcy Dog Park in Santa Fe. Louie, come. Come here. Come here. That's the biggest test. Will he come? Try to get him to come to you. Louie. Good yes. boy, Louie. Good, Good boy. boy. Yes. He Good. passed the very first test. Good boy. Good boy, Louie. Good boy. Yes. He passed that makes the me test. So happy. Oh, he does. He does love us. He does have a good life. <laughs> okay, should we do that again? That's the only trick we can do right now. Okay, should we run? Let's run. little doggy park. No friends to play with, but maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs>